as a true cavalryman, Ulan, this is how the word lancer is translated from English, is not burdened with strong armor. The metal of the outer panels is not particularly thick, and the paintwork is not of outstanding strength. Getting chips and scratches on the body is a trifle. Shoes easily damage the paint on the door sills, and pebbles damage the rear arches, which often peel off the protective anti-gravel film. But you need to start looking for real rust in older lancers from the trunk. To help the condensate, outboard water comes there, seeping through the seals of the lanterns and wiring. Over time, the lancer becomes blind. The soft glasses of the front optics require delicate handling. The mirror elements of the fog lights burn out during prolonged use, and the size and brake lights often go out. By the way, be especially careful when replacing the lamps in the rear lights. When dismantling, it is easy to chip off the corner of the filter. Lancer's electrical equipment is nowhere simpler. But after three to five years, the expensive fan motor of the stove can begin to howl and hum in a ziggly style. The most unpleasant thing is that it fails, as a rule, in winter. It happens that the drives for adjusting the mirrors, heated seats, the climate is weird, the audio installation stalls or turns off the display, and cars older than 2009 were even called for a service campaign to replace front impact sensors. The airbags could not work correctly. After 80 to 100,000 urban kilometers, it happens that the buttons on the steering wheel go on strike, the rings of the steering column wiring loop are rubbed with roller contacts. Even sadder, such a run in the metropolis can affect the 1.5-liter 4A91 gasoline engine that Lancer got from the Colt model of 2004. 30% of cars on the market are equipped with it. In this unit, Coke piston rings lose their mobility. In advanced cases, oil consumption can go off scale for 4 to 5 liters per 10,000 kilometers. In order not to bring it to this, after 60,000 kilometers, do not forget to regularly look at the dipstick, and if you notice a decrease in the oil level in the crankcase, immediately soak the underlying rings with any of the special compounds for Deco King. Other gasoline engines do not suffer from oil gluttony. These are 4A92 with a volume of 1.6 liters, 8% of cars, the most popular unit is 1.84 V10, 36% of cars, and a 2-liter 4B11. 26% of cars. And in general, the line of Ulan engines is not bad. 250 to 300,000 kilometers are not the limit for them. The MIVEC variable valve timing system is not particularly capricious, and the timing chain drive does not require attention for years. But it was not without small sores, and they are common, generic for motors. To extend the life of a delicate throttle body, it must be cleaned of dirt and deposits at least once every 30 to 50,000 kilometers. After 60 to 70,000 kilometers, do not forget to keep an eye on the belt drive of mounted units. Not only the belt itself wears out, but also the rollers. After 100 to 150,000 kilometers, the front crankshaft oil seal begins to snot. Due to the fault of the ignition coils, malfunctions in the ignition system occur, and in cars older than 2010, the oxygen sensor suffers from condensation. And do not be alarmed if the Lancer suddenly starts to talk in raised tones and snort like a diesel. The O-ring between the manifold and the exhaust system is unreliable and often collapses. The four-stage Jack OF4A series hydraulic automatic, developed back in the mid-90s, it is also equipped with versions with a 1.6 engine, is simple and unhurried, but reliable, if you don't try to squeeze all the juices out and don't forget to renew the oil at least once every 90,000 kilometers. The box easily takes an enviable bar of 250 or even 300,000 kilometers. But with the 5 speed mechanics, get RAG F5M on machines with a 1.5 engine. During this time, it may be necessary not only to replace the clutch two to three times, but also weak input shaft bearings, like the release bearing. They were often changed under warranty when complaining about rattling sounds. Mechanical 5 step Eisen F5M on other versions with the exception of the unprecedented 6-speed diesel F6M, behave more decently. Although, like Get Rag, after 90 to 100,000 kilometers they begin to stumble when choosing gears. Any of the mechanical boxes becomes especially stubborn in winter. The thickened grease in the clutch splines and CB joints resists, and here and there, on occasion, it is better to replace it with a more frost-resistant one. There is no need to be afraid of the Jacko JF011E variator. The continuously variable unit developed in 2005, familiar to owners of Mitsubishi Outlander crossovers and a dozen other Nissan, Renault, Suzuki, Jeep and Dodge models, sometimes has a selector that is harmful, due to poor contact, 
the transmission modes do not switch. And do not forget that the variator does not like sharp wheel locks, for example, when hooked after slipping or when stuck into a curb when parking a turn belt leaves scratches on the pulleys, they, in turn, are taken to gnaw the belt and the variator starts to wobble. And the repair of a continuously variable transmission is not cheap. If you feel slipping or jerking, you will have to fork out for $2,000 to $2,500 in addition to the belt, pulleys, and bearings, the planetary gears and the oil pump are at risk. But if you do not tear and do not overheat the transmission, keeping its radiator clean, and every 70 to 75,000 kilometers you do not skimp on the specific Dia Queen CVT J1 oil, the variator will not yield to a decent hydraulic automatic and reliability and will be able to last at least 250,000 kilometers. By the way, do not be afraid of the electronically controlled 4WD all-wheel drive transmission and rear-wheel drive clutch which Mitsubishi Outlander also shared with 3% of the Lancers on the market, it does not cause noticeable trouble. Suspension longevity largely depends on the amount of dirt on the roads. From sand and salt, not only the stabilizer struts and bushings begin to creak, but also the springs, the rubber support between the lower coil and the support glass is rubbed. Lightweight fluoroplastic plane bearings of the front pillar supports do not favor dirt giving out their dissatisfaction with the creak and crunch when turning the steering wheel. And the front struts themselves at first sometimes could not stand even 20,000 kilometers. After the restyling in 2011, their survivability increased several times, but only at the beginning of 2014 did the shock absorbers finally have anthers that adequately protect the stem and stuffing box from abrasive. And the rear wheel bearings began to live twice as long, instead of 60 to 80,000 kilometers only after improving the sealing of the hubs in 2008. The one and a half liter version again excelled in steering, exclusively having an electric power steering instead of hydraulics in the design. For cars of the first years of production, the brake or steering rods pleased with knocks at runs of only 40 to 50,000 kilometers. The piquancy of the situation is that at first the rods were not supplied separately. Fortunately, in most cases, the problem manifested itself during the warranty period and with any knock, dealers change the expensive assembly assembly. For the rest of the Lancers, the steering mechanism does not give cause for criticism, and the steering tips and rods hold at least 80 to 100,000 kilometers. Bottlenecks in the brake system no longer depend on engine size. There are exactly two of them. After 40 to 60,000 kilometers, the guide brackets of the calipers can annoyingly rattle on bumps. And when calculating the front brake discs, the engineers seem to have missed the mark with heat resistance. Capable of going 90 to 100,000 kilometers, discs with one attempt can sentence aggressive driving or not the most intense braking in front of a puddle. It makes sense to replace discs that have gone with the screw with the high-quality, non-original.